So we're going to go over muscle anatomy on our anatomy table. And we'll start with muscles of the face. From the forehead to the back of the skull is occipital frontalis. It tells you where it is. It runs from the occipital bone on the back of the head all the way to the front on the frontal bone. So occipital frontalis. This muscle on top of the temporal bone is the temporalis muscle. Not these three muscles on the ear, those are auricularis. The one that's deep to that is temporalis, directly on top of the temporal bone. Temporalis. Making a circle around the eye, orbicularis oculi. Orbicularis means it makes a circle, and oculi is eye. Orbicularis oculi. On top of the nasal bones, the nasalis muscle. making a circle around the mouth. Orbicularis oris. Orbicularis means it makes a circle, and oris is mouth. Orbicularis oris. Now we see these series of muscles next to the nose that connects to the upper lip. Here is zygomaticus major. You can see its attachment at the zygomatic bone down to the side of the lip there. Zygomaticus major. Zygomaticus minor is the smaller one that attaches the zygomatic bone there. And next to that is this muscle, levator labii superioris. Levator means it raises something, labii is lip, and superioris means that it's the upper lip. These muscles raise the upper lip. You can see the lip, levator, labii, superioris. That means that these muscles that connect at the lower lip are depressor labii, inferioris. Depressor means it lowers something. Labii is lip. Inferioris means it's the lower lip. So there's depressor labii, inferioris. At the corners of the mouth, we have depressor anguli oris. Again, depressor means it lowers something. Anguli is corner, and oris is mouth. These lower the corner of the mouth. Depressor anguli inferioris. In the middle of the chin, we have those two muscles. Those are called mentalis muscles. mentalis. This muscle, a deeper muscle in the side of the face, you can see it's in your cheek there, that's the buccinator.
and there we see the buxomy. The big muscle that connects to the jaw here, the major muscle chewing, that's the masseter. Buxomator, masseter. We'll zoom in a little more. Buxinator, masseter. There again is Zygomaticus major. Zygomaticus minor. Levator labii superioris. Nasalis. Orbicularis oculi. Occipital frontalis, temporalis. Orbicularis oris, depressor labii inferioris, depressor anguli oris. Now this big muscle that covers the neck is called the platysma. And in order to see some of the deeper muscles, we're going to go ahead and remove the platysma. So now let's go. Deep to the platysma, we see the muscle that turns your head. This muscle is called sternocleidomastoid. It tells you where it is. So sterno, the sternum, Clido, the clavicle, mastoid, the mastoid process of the temporal bone. So, sternocleidomastoid, big muscle in your neck. Let's go ahead and reset and turn it over on his back. So we'll see the back of sternocleidomastoid there. This big muscle is called the trapezius. Trapezius. Big muscle in the middle of the back. Latissimus dorsi. Let's go ahead and remove one of the trapezius muscles. And we can look at some deeper muscles. So deep to trapezius, we see this muscle between the scapula and the spine, that's rhomboid major, it has roughly a rhomboidal shape. So there's the rhomboid major muscle. Here's the scapula. This muscle is called levator scapulae. Levator means it raises it, and scapulae is scapula. So you can see where this muscle connects to the scapula. When that muscle gets shorter, the scapula comes up. So, levator scapulae. Just medial to levator scapulae is this muscle, splenius capitis. Splenius capitis, levator scapulae, rhomboid major, trapezius, latissimus dorsi. I'll roll them on his side just a little. Here we see this muscle, this is called serratus anterior. Serratus is referring to the serrated edge that it has here. So there is serratus anterior. We'll come all the way back around to the chest. Pectoralis major. We'll remove one of the pectoralis major muscles. And deep to pectoralis major, you can see pectoralis minor. And then the muscles in between the ribs, the intercostal muscles. I see internal intercostal and external intercostal muscles. In between the ribs, intercostal muscles. So again, pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, intercostal. 
Now, muscles of the abdomen. So the most external muscle of the abdomen, you can see the fibers coming across here to the diagonal angle. That's the external oblique muscle. External because it's on the outside, and oblique because the fibers run in here at an angle. Now let's remove one of the external oblique muscles. And deep to that, we see the internal oblique muscle. Internal because it's the deeper muscle, oblique because the fibers now run up at an angle. So here is the internal oblique muscle. External oblique, internal oblique. Now let's remove the internal oblique muscle. Now deep to the internal oblique muscle, we see rectus abdominis, and you can see it's sort of the six-pack structure there, rectus abdominis. Rectus means straight, abdominis means abdomen, so straight down the abdomen, rectus abdominis. Right there is transversus abdominis. Transversus abdominis runs across, transverses the abdomen. So transversus abdominis, or the transverse abdominal muscle, rectus abdominis, internal oblique, external oblique. So external oblique is the most external muscle. If we take that off, there's the internal oblique just underneath that. If we take that off, there's the rectus abdominis, and the transversus abdominis there. So those are your muscles of the chest, the back, and the head that you need to know. I'll have other videos with the muscles of the arms and the legs that we would like you to know.